for another installment of Four Stories! Welcome back to Orange Porridge, guys, and yes, this is my second video being posted up this week. Yeah! I'm actually posting three videos up this week. So this video will probably go out on Thursday, maybe? And the usual video on Monday is probably going to come out on Monday as well. Maybe Monday. If, if, if that still still happens, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm so good at posting videos on Monday usually and I never have that as kind of like a thing that ever goes to fault. <sighs> anyway, without any further ado, let's go straight into it, shall we? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Do it for the vibe! Alright, so I'm recording this on Sunday, but I'm posting this on Thursday, like I said earlier. But the thing is, the reason why I wanted to do this straight away was because it literally just happened. Like, I just came back from work. And, you know, I would love to suppress the memory of what happened instantly. But after recollection, I realized, you know, it's actually pretty funny. So I wanted to share it before I automatically just suppress the absurdity of what happened. Also, you're probably wondering why I'm using a different table this time and there's like white pieces of paper on this table just sitting right here out in the open. I just want to let you guys know that the reason why there are papers here is because I am doing a skit and I don't ever memorize my lines. That is why. There you have it guys. I suck as a YouTuber and an actor. So, I was working today and yes, you guessed it, my buddy, Mr. Venonat is back. Oh, how you doing there? How you doing? How you doing? This is gonna be so hard to edit in. <laughs> so, basically I had a really funny encounter with a patient today. And as it was happening, I was kind of like, uh, the forklift? But I came to realize, after talking to one of my colleagues about it, it was actually a really funny situation. Anyway, so I was working a night shift, as usual. And I was serving dinner, as usual. Because apparently, for some reason, all the fun stuff happens during the night shift. Yeah! I was serving, taking the trays out of the giant machine, serving it to all the patients. And it wasn't even until the second tray that I took out of the machine that I had my encounter. So basically the man that I was about to serve had gotten out of his bed and was making his way to the toilet. Fair enough. And here I was with his tray in my hand. Now, the old man and I had met halfway and all of a sudden, I just start hearing this noise. I thought someone was pooping in their own bed but then I came to the realization that the person who was actually fighting or pooping maybe was the person who was standing next to me because out of nowhere he just started saying I'm sorry pardon me I am really, really sorry. My response? <laughs> it was not good. <coughs> now, I probably could have handled the situation like this. I'm really. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. I'm really. Really, really sorry. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's okay, sir. Uh, I, I, I have your dinner here for you. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on your table and you just go do what you need to do, okay? Oh, okay. Or maybe even like this. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Uh, I've got your dinner here for you. Uh, I'm just going to leave this on your table and I'm just going to get out of here, okay? Okay. So, the way I handled the situation was, as it was happening, Basically all I did was just stand there and hold my breath. Man, I didn't even like react to whatever the guy was saying. Like I was just like <gasps> And then just like ran to his bed, placed this like tray on his desk and got the heck out of there as fast as I could. I mean like I saw he was wearing a nappy, but like I just I just didn't care. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what possessed me. But for some reason I thought I was just like 
There's no way I'm gonna get this guy's particle feces that's flowing through the air up this nostril. Heck nah, that ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna hold my breath, I'm gonna get out of there, I'm gonna skedaddle. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know why, but that is what I, that is what was going through my mind. And it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I told my colleague um, what I did, and he literally just sat there, he just started laughing at me, and he was just like, dude, what is wrong with you? I mean, like, I kind of went back and kind of like, I don't even know why I did this, but I kind of went back and I kind of wanted to see if there was a kind of a smell there, but there wasn't. So, literally my reaction was like, completely void. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> that's just what happened, I guess. But yeah, so that's pretty much what happened today. <laughs> Um, it was pretty funny, but at the same time, I was kind of shocked while it was happening. Oh, and by the way, I saw another PP -pee today. Yay. So that's it for today's horror story. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like in the bar down below. And if you are a first time watching this, then I suggest you should also subscribe, which is down below, down there, right in this corner right here. Um, don't forget to share it to all your family and friends and also if you want to leave a comment, you know I'd love to have a chat with you guys who watch my videos because you guys are awesome People, You guys who watch my videos, you guys are awesome so I'd like to have a chat with you guys and get to know you guys a little bit better Anyway, I guess that's it for today's video and I will see you guys at another time this week Yes, because it's, there's supposed to be another video coming out. All right yeah, let, let's, let's, let's go, let's, yeah, okay.